Hello. This is the summer of 2022, and we got exciting news this year. We're doing rag bry. Woohoo! Yay! This will, yeah, this will be our third ride of the year. Is all we've been. We biked one time in Florida. We biked last weekend. And I biked a little bit yesterday, but I'm coming off a of knee surgery, so we're just taking it slow. And today we're going to do the Saginaw Trail, which is over by Faribault and runs over to Mankato. I mean, it's a great trail. It's flat, so that'd be good for me for my recovering from my knee. So we're gonna do that today, and we're getting ready for for Rag Bry. And one thing, you know, we're big fans of Ryan Dozier, and we got ourselves a Mira. Look at here's Mira. He's in training for bike riding right now too. Sooner or later, he'll be on my bike, and I'll try to act just like John and Mira. <laughs> So, Actually, this is Brody. It's Brody. Yep, we named him Brody. It's 11, 10 or 11 weeks now. So he's in training. Yeah. I got a basket for him. <laughs> I've been pushing him in the garage. He's not there yet, so he won't be riding with us today. But <laughs> hopefully here soon he'll be on the bike with us. But anyway, we're getting ready to head out. It's going to be about 85 today. It's a little chilly right now, but the winds are supposed to be strong. So we'll test those Iowa winds. <laughs> Anyway, we'll see you from the trail. Bye-bye. And we're off. Rag by Rag Bride training. Day three. Second hour trail. Fair bolt to the lake right now was shut down because of construction. So we started at the lake. It's not too much. I think we lost like two miles. Not that bad. But we're gonna get going. We'll see how long my knee can last today. Hopefully it'll be all right. We'll talk to you along the trail. I sure hope this is good training for Rag Rye. Oh, the wind. I don't know what it is, 25, 30 miles an hour. Ooh, doggy. Go away! Oh. in parking spot for the potty if you're in need we are not so we continue wind still blowing once we get back behind these trees it's not not quite as bad but coming up to another bridge Choo -choo. Back on the trail. State Park just in ring goes up along here goes up along 
the lake in Waterville. I'm not really sure if the name of it was, but it's like I was saying before, they have a nice little campground, Camp Dells in Waterville. That's why the trail from here to there usually gets used quite a bit with hikers, bikers, families. Today it's pretty quiet so far. Oh, here comes somebody. Well, we'll sign off for now. Still in the forest. Runner. playground everybody always gives everybody information on their bike okay here's my information on my bike it's a specialized sierra fully carbon we went with the straight bars it's a little bit more riding comfort for longer distance rides we've got the bell light speedometer my gopro holder my phone my Pro bike water bottles, Shimano gearing, and we use the, the clips. Not the clips, but the, the cages for pedals. We enjoy them. Easy to get in and out. I see so many people falling with the clip pedals, we decided not even to chance it. I do have an extra water bottle holder here, and I put it here because I use my, my air bike pump right here. We haven't used it a whole lot, but I've used it for more other people than they have for myself. On the back, we got my little toolbox and my saddlebag cooler. I'm able to fit at least a six pack of beer in there with ices. It gets a little heavy, but we're packing our lunch today. So we'll go about 30 miles or so and, and sit and have some lunch. But that's the total ride. Talk to you in a little bit. Well, we're almost to uh, Madison Lake. We're about 25 miles, so we're gonna sit, take a little break here, eat some lunch. Got a nice picnic table here. Got our food, some pop. Should be having beer. One thing I've noticed, this is not Ragbri. There are no beer trucks. There's no pie. There's no corn. <laughs> we'll have to do with what we got today later time for heading back hopefully some of this wind will be at our back kind of blown from the south so kind of on our side the whole way hopefully it'll be a little bit more at our back than it was coming here but <laughs> my goodness <laughs> can't get any windier Woo! Sounds like we're on an ocean with the waves crashing. Only I wish. Let's, we'll see you in a little bit. Just outside of Walkville, this is a little bridge wildlife area. Really pretty cool. A lot of times they have trumpeter swans in here, but I don't see any today. But we'll get back on our way. Coming back into Watertown. Yep, got a water tower, same as Iowa. In honor of Memorial Day weekend, you gotta come to the memorial. They do a really nice job of theirs here in Water bill. They have everybody's names on the bricks here. It's very nicely done.
Panama Trail. Shows you how windy it's been today. This was not here when we started. <laughs> tree has been blown down it's like it's half rotted but we're gonna have to walk over this one We're coming to the end of the ride today. Almost done. Almost 50 miles today in about four hours and 20 minutes. Not too bad for the third ride of the year. Did all right. Drag Bry, here we come. Six more days of this. <laughs> no problem. Anyway, we're gonna finish her up, head home, drink a beer, and I'll give you a little review when we get there. Later. Well, we made it back. 45 miles, we're all done for the day. Third mile of the year. Rag Bry's looking better. But the wind was a killer today. We wanted to go maybe a little bit further, but just getting there, the first half of the ride into the wind, and, whew, that was, it was a nightmare. I was glad we had the wind today though. It was a good test. And we had it on the way, we had it, we had the headwind going and behind our backs on the way home. So that was good. Well, it was a great day, ready for some heat. And beer at the end of the ride. Yeah, that was it was a good good day. It was a pretty good day. Brody wants to say hi again. <laughs> hey everybody. That's our new pup. <laughs> he likes to be involved in everything. But one day we're gonna take him on the trail with us. Yeah, sooner, hopefully sooner than later. Mm -hmm. But anyway, that's it for for training Rag Bride 22 this weekend. Next weekend, I think we're going to do, what are we saying, the Red Wing, Cannon, Cannon Falls. Cannon Falls. We'll try to get in about 50 miles next weekend. In fact, that's our training. We don't have time to ride during the week. We're both working. We're so busy. We usually get in one good long ride on the weekend, usually anywhere from 40 to 50 miles. As we get closer, we'll do our, our 80, 90, maybe even 100 mile ride one day. But... I mean, I biked yesterday, I biked today, I'll probably do some biking tomorrow. Just get, you know, people say get in shape and everything, just just get used to your seat. Get used to sitting on your bike. Today we did, like I said, almost 50 miles, and we ride 10 miles, and we break for 10 minutes. We ride 10 miles, we break for 10 minutes. And you can do it all. 10 miles every hour with a break in there, you can cover 100 miles, in 10 hours no problem you're refreshed don't wait until you get so beat up that you get blisters on your tush and you're just dead I mean break before you get to that point because it's just not worth it five minutes off off the seat does is, wonders it, it's yeah. completely different between night and day mm -hmm. you take five minutes off you can jump back on your bike and you can ride another 10 miles mm -hmm. no problem so like rag bright we've never did it we're newbies but we're hoping enough bike riding that we've done, enough century rides that we've done. We've always just taken our time and, and enjoyed the scenery, the restaurants, a beer here and there. A lot of breaks and hydrate and fuel and you'll be great. It's just, it's fun. Biking is fun. You just gotta enjoy yourself and bike for fun. Don't worry about times. There's no such thing as times. When people try to compare 
you know, rag bry or a day of biking to a marathon. I mean, it's not even close. We've done many, many marathons. And at the end of a marathon, you're dead. You're not, you're not moving for a week. So this is just a nice, easy ride. Enjoy yourself, enjoy the people around you. I just can't wait. It's something we've been looking forward to for almost three years. And finally, we've worked it into our schedule this year. We're, we're able to do it. So anyway, that's the end of the rag by training route this week. And hopefully we'll see you again next week. See you next week at Cannon Falls. Bye-bye.